showeth his special mercy to whomsoever he will. O Lord, help thou thy loved ones to acquire knowledge in the sciences and arts, to unravel the secrets that are treasured up in the inmost reality of all created beings. Make them to hear the hidden truths that are written and embedded in the heart of all that is. Make them to be ensigns of guidance amongst Thank all Verily I invoke thee and supplicate for thy blessed Lord, asking thee that all thy mercies may descend upon thee so. Specialize them in thy favor and thy truth. O Lord, unite and bind together the hearts, join and accord all the souls, and exhilarate the spirits through the signs of thy sanctity and oneness. O Lord, make these faces radiant. Instead of taking him to the hospital. 
perhaps the reality is dead men tell no tale. Manny Ellis isn't here to speak for himself. Perhaps if he had been taken to the hospital quickly, perhaps if they had actually tried to do something different after they had did so much that was wrong, he would be able to tell you what happened to him on that night. Speak truth. 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 The power! The power! So what they don't talk about is what it's like when people what it's like when people from anywhere stand up for justice. So when we stand up in Tacoma, we're standing up for the state of Washington. When we stand up in Tacoma, we're standing up for the West Coast. When we stand up for Tacoma, we are standing up for the nation.
man. It's the calling that God had, had put on his heart. Yeah, um, I, I was reading an a, a, a article. In the, can y'all hear me? Yeah. I was reading an article in uh, the Time Magazine. And, uh, and, the, and the title of this, uh, this, uh, this article was, We Can't Wait for White America to End Racism. And so when I read that, it really spoke to me because we're looking for Superman to come and rescue us. And it was like the Lord was speaking to me saying that if we're going to get through this, we got to get us through this. Right. And, and, that, and, that, and, that, and that what's going to make this successful is to continue to have our Caucasian brothers that, that helped us out during the civil rights movement, yeah. that's yeah. Helping, helping us out now, yeah. and with their uh, uh, support, we can get through this thing, we can make, we can get rid of racism, yeah. we can get police reform, yeah. and so, and so, this is really, this is really when the, when the, where the hard work starts. Yeah. So we But what happened to George Floyd just just pricked my heart that I had to come out. I asked God to forgive me. So I just asked Bishop why. I said, Bishop why, let me just let the people know that now it's time to get behind closed doors. God has given him a vision of, of five points that, that we can address. We're not going to be all over the place. We're going to take each point and we're going to try to get, be successful at each one of those. When that contract is due, we've got to demand that that contract be up now, yeah. and that we go to the table as a as a responsible partner to make sure that the right language is in place so that we can hold those who are choosing to do the wrong things accountable for the choices that they make. And so that's what we've got to do. When Dr. Christopher talked about getting behind closed doors, specifically that means we've got to get to that contract We've got to change the language in that contract so it does not protect people who are making the wrong choices. Right. Right. Unless and until white America is willing to collectively acknowledge 
acknowledge its privilege to take responsibility for its past and the impact it has on the present and commit to creating a future steeped in justice. Melissa Bates and George Floyd and Manny Ellis and so many others have been added to Short distance. Right. But when God gives you a microphone, uh -huh. 
Uh-huh. You don't have to worry about who hit. Left his home that morning. I'm sure he didn't have no way in mind Come on. that he was going to change the world. Come on. Right. And this is what I don't want anyone to be discouraged because of numbers. Right. Because God can speak to That's whom right. he will. That's, That's right. right. If God can let a, a jackass talk, yeah. he can make an axe head swim. Yeah. He can make the wind blow. Come on. To make us be heard. Right. There was a commercial on television uh, that I saw years ago, telephone commercial. And that commercial said, Can you hear me now? Yeah. Yeah. See, this is what God is trying to tell us. Yeah. Can you hear me now? Yeah. The, or the coronavirus, the, the act of injustice, all of these have been acts years ago, especially the injustice, right. but nobody yeah. would listen. But I hear God say, can you hear me now? Yeah. Yeah. I have given joy the, the megaphone so he can hear what I have to say.
stand for justice, yes. we stand, stand for love, yes. we stand for peace, Lord. Lord, we thank you for the leadership of Bishop White. We thank you for the leadership of all these different pastors yes. and ministers who have come out to make a stand and say that we, the church, will not stand or sit in silence any longer. Thank you. We are going to take a stand, for we know that these are the values of you. Uh -huh. and we will be a light in the midst of this dark, dark yes, world. God. Mm. Your justice down on this Please, earth, Lord. Lord, send your spirit upon us and forgive us of our sins and help us turn from our wicked ways. Yes, mm. God, we ask that as we leave this place of living your presence, that you will continue to guide us and protect us. Yes. This is Jesus' name we pray and we thank you. Amen. Amen. Amen.